If that doesn't make you feel special, I'm not sure what will. Hi, I'm Ian Wintling. I'm the IT manager at Exploration Place, and these are the crystals from our upcoming Crystal Castle experience. There are a lot of pieces. They took a while to figure out. Initially, we thought that people would probably need to touch the crystals to make them react, but not anymore. There's actually a theremin tucked inside here, because it's not actually a whole theremin. It's a theremin synthesizer module, and there are plenty of people who can explain to you what a theremin is, but as I understand it, a theremin puts out a magnetic field and then it measures how your body interrupts and interacts with that electromagnetic field. We take the signal that's coming out of the theremin module, we turn that into control voltage, or rather that module does, and then we bring that control voltage into another module that turns it into MIDI, which some of you who make music may be familiar with, and we use the MIDI signal to control the master volume in some DAW software called LMMS. We love open source software at Exploration Place. We use it a lot. This is our first time using LMMS, so this sound, the sound that gets louder as my hand gets closer, that's actually always playing, but the volume only comes up on it when I'm close. And you'll notice that the response is linear. It's not just on and off. The closer I get, the louder it gets. I think the linearity is one of the things that makes this feel extra special. We have some software for lighting that is reacting to the sound. Uh, that software is called QLC Plus, and it runs almost all of the theatrical lights at Exploration Place. We took some turns with the design from where we started, but I think we ended up in a really good place. I'm deeply grateful for the chance to work with Kai Thomas. I think exhibit coordinator is her title, but we just know her as a fantastic artist. She planned the physical side of the crystals and did the finishing on them. They are not nearly as pointy as they look, so you don't have to worry about that. This was a team effort. I look forward to seeing how much people enjoy interacting with the crystals, and we're proud of it.